Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Mark and I've woken up to some very exciting news from Microsoft. They've launched their cloud gaming service to the general public for beta access. To get started, you're going to need an Android phone with Android version 6 or above and Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is to pair with a controller. You'll need the Xbox Game Pass app along with the Ultimate Game Pass subscription that allows you to access loads of games on your Xbox and now on your mobile as well. And you'll need a decent internet connection. If you're on Wi-Fi, it says you'll need a five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. And if you're out and about playing using a mobile connection, you'll need at least 10 megabits per second download speed. I'm gonna be using my OnePlus 8 Pro along with my Xbox controller. Let's take it for a spin. So here's a quick look at the new Game Pass app. The original app had console and PC. Now you've got this cloud option, so you can see under each tab the games. And if you go to cloud, it says jump back in and any games that you've been playing recently will show up there. Or you can scroll down and see the most popular. And what I like is they've even got a plays great on mobile. So if you're not sure what might work really well, you can pick from that selection there. You need to have your controller paired and then just hit the play button. Screen will rotate. Now I have noticed there's a bit of a lag in the loading. side because of the aspect ratio is slightly clipped. If you've not played Streets Rage 4, definitely recommend giving it a go. You can see menu, very responsive, just same as if it was on the Xbox. Microsoft did introduce the ability to stream games from your Xbox to your PC, but that required your Xbox to be on and effectively your PC was just acting like a window and relaying the commands back to the Xbox. In this instance, you don't need your Xbox on, you just need your mobile and the internet connection and it's loading up, let's just skip this, here we go. So I have Virgin Media Connection, it's 200 down, so more than enough for this game, and here we go. Yeah, plays absolutely brilliantly, no problems at all, no lag. So unlike on the Xbox, pressing the Xbox button here brings up a very limited menu. If you actually want to quit and choose a different game, you have to press these three little buttons here and say quick game, quick game, and that'll drop you back into the app where just like as if you're on Xbox, you can then go and pick something different to play. So aside from the slow loading times, I'm pretty impressed with this so far, but I do wonder what it's going to be like over the mobile network. So let's step outside and give it a go. When I attempted to test the Game Pass on the mobile network, the menu for the game was really laggy. It just wasn't responsive at all. I ran a quick speed check and realized that it was way below the required 10 down that the Game Pass needs to be able to stream the games successfully. So I've had to abandon that, which is a shame, but it just goes to show you should check the minimum requirements. So on Wi-Fi, I had no problems at all. Yeah, it took a while to load up, but actually it was easily playable, it was very responsive, it felt like I was playing on the Xbox, but just on a much smaller screen. On mobile network, if you're gonna use mobile, first of all, remember that could use a lot of data, so check your plan, and secondly, do a speed test first, because there's nothing worse and more annoying when you're in the middle of a game, and it just becomes very laggy and unresponsive. If you've not seen it, I reviewed the OnePlus 8 Pro previously, click on this video here to check it out, and I'll see you over there.